Hey guys, this is Ron White. Maybe you saw me on the National Geographic show Brain Games. I'm also a two-time USA memory champion. In this video, we're gonna talk about what long-term memory is and how you can improve it. First of all, what is long-term memory? Let's play a game. Where were you on September 11th, 2001? Can you tell me? Where were you on October 25th of that year? You probably have no idea, unless it was a birthday or an anniversary. How about this? Have you ever been in a car accident? If so, could you tell me the time of day, who was driving, how it occurred, and where it occurred? I bet even if it was five or ten years ago, you can tell me all the details of that car accident. But let me ask you this. Could you tell me every time you've driven in a car since then? Of course not. Now why do you remember some things in your long-term memory, but you don't remember other things? So why do you remember where you were on September 11th, but not October 25th? Or why do you remember the car accident, but not everywhere you've driven? The reason for this is there was action and emotion involved in those things. And action and emotion will cement something in your long-term memory. Before we give steps on how to improve your long-term memory, what is long-term memory? Long-term memory is anything that's been in your memory for longer than 30 seconds. Short-term memory capacity is limited to about four to seven pieces of information held in your short-term or working memory. But if something can be remembered long enough, it makes it to your long-term memory. And long-term memory capacity is almost unlimited. Research suggests that memories are not stored in your long-term memory in a static state, but instead, every time that they are recalled, they're transformed or changed a little bit, and this leads people to sometimes having false memories. There are really three types of long-term memory. The first one is procedural memory. And this is where you, re you remember or you learn how to do something, such as riding a bicycle. That is gonna be in your procedural long-term memory. Semantic long-term memory is responsible for storing information that you know about the world. For example, remembering that London is the capital of England would be in your semantic long-term memory. Your episodic memory is the memory that's responsible for remembering events in your life. Perhaps you remember your first day of school or you remember a car accident or where you were on September 11th. This is your episodic long-term memory. Now the big question is, is how can you improve your long-term memory? I'm gonna give you four steps to improving your long-term memory. The first step is actually my most favorite memory training technique. If you've watched my videos, you know I talk about the mind palace. And that's the first step in improving your long-term memory. You need to build yourself a mind palace. And essentially what that is, is memorizing a map of your home. Now you already have your home memorized. So really all I'm asking you to do is to number pieces of furniture in your house. This is how you do it. Stand in the doorway of every room in your house and number five pieces of furniture. One, two, three, four, five. Good items to number are desks, beds, TVs, refrigerators, stove, microwave, computers, lamps. Then go to the next room. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then go to the next room. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These are going to be locations in your brain where you're going to store information that you want to recall later. So create your mind palace. That is step one of improving your long-term memory. Step number two is action. Your brain remembers things that have action tied to them. That's why you remember the car accident. That slamming, that impact was action. Your brain remembers action. So create images in your mind with tons of action and then store that action mentally on pieces of furniture. The third step to improving your long-term memory after mind palace and action is emotion. 
tons and tons of emotion. Why do you remember the person in high school that you had a crush on, but you don't remember the person you sat beside every day in English class? Emotion. Emotion ties things into your memory. That's another reason why you remember where you were on September 11th. The emotion of that day, the fear of that day, the emotion of it cemented it into your memory. So when you create these pictures, action and emotion are crucial and then make it a vivid picture full of action and emotion and tie it to a piece of furniture. So let's say you're in your history class and you want to remember a fact about World War II. On the first piece of furniture in your house, you would see a, a World War II battle. But to make sure it goes in your long-term memory, tons of action. So that means you would see bullets flying everywhere and bombs exploding, but also involve emotion. Maybe when you look at that piece of furniture, imagine the fear that would be involved in seeing a battle. So use your mind palace, action, and emotion to remember a key detail. And the last step to putting something in your long-term memory is review, spaced repetition. What I like to do is memorize something today using my mind palace. So I might have 25 or 30 things that I want to recall. I'll turn them into a picture and with action and emotion, see them around my mind palace. I will review them today. Then I will review them tomorrow. I will review them in a week and then I will review them in a month. That spaced repetition will make sure that it goes into my long-term memory. So my favorite memory training technique by far is the Mind Palace. It can get you some incredible results, but it has to be done the right way. Just one mistake here or there are gonna dramatically impact the result that you would get. So to help you master it, I've put together a free training that you can get right here by clicking the link below or click the link right here. Don't forget to subscribe and click the link right here to get your free training. Thanks for watching. Some options with the editing would probably be good. So just emotion. Just through it. Does that make sense what I was trying to say? Yeah, yeah it's kind of... This, this is...